Deep in the Philippine rainforest, the earth is moving in minute, almost imperceptible shudders. The earth's tectonic plates converge here along the notorious ring of fire. These tiny movements deep below the earth's surface can result in volcanoes and earthquakes, but from this volatility also comes opportunity. This source of energy is helping the Philippines reduce its dependency on heavy polluting fossil fuels. Geothermal engineers are testing a new potential site for steam. The unique location of the Philippines means this project can tap into the largest steam field of its kind in the world. The steam is channeled through to a power plant where turbines generate electricity. The entire project produces over 350 megawatts of energy, enough for 700,000 local households. If you compare geothermal with the uh uh, coal-fired and uh, diesel-fired power plants, that's uh, much better. Tungonan geothermal field has been operating for 25 years and it's sustainable. So as long as we manage our resource well, it's a, it's a really good source of, uh, of energy. Proper management will not only guarantee its sustainability, but its green credentials. Harmful compounds brought up with the steam are re-injected deep underground, protecting the delicate surroundings. Despite geothermal's billing as a clean energy source, though, this operation does boost levels of harmful hydrogen sulfide into the atmosphere. For the plant operators, keeping those levels within safe standards have far-reaching implications. History has told us that the, that the well-developed countries right now had their history of pollution. Because once you have poverty, people are forced to encroach on the environment and use the resources, the natural resources. So there must be a happy balance between econo economics and environment. And that's what we're trying to do. It's a solution that works for the Philippines. And as energy worries persist, countries as far removed as Australia and Hungary are exploring their own geothermal potential. The Philippines gets 20% of its energy from geothermal sources. This rural community already lives 100% on geothermal power. Their energy supply is constant and immune to the volatility of world markets. At this school, students are learning about geothermal energy. The main lesson, geothermal won't cost them the earth. Hugh Rimmington, CNN, Hong Kong.